The best part for me is there are always unexpected moments when you realize that you've touched someone's life in a way that you didn't know you were gonna. Anybody out there in this audience could be going through something and something we do is gonna strike a chord with them and, and change them for a minute or make them forget something for a minute. To know that the story that you're a part of affects people, as you said, and, and either gives them a new perspective or brings them back or inspires them is our job. And that's the payoff. Yeah, and that's why we can do it for a year and a half or six years or whatever, because every time we see a new audience, they've embraced the show in a different way. That's the best paycheck of all. Yeah. When I first got into the theater, I didn't realize the amount of training that it takes. That's a whole nother aspect that I didn't think about, I think. I think a technical aspect of what a lot of audiences members don't know is like when you, especially when you create a show, how many versions and cuts and revamping that you have to go through to get to the final product of something. I think the hardest part is uh, the uncertainty, to make sure you always have something lined up. I have a family, so I need to make sure that I have a job. You can do everything that you can to be at these jobs, and but if the show isn't doing well and they close the show a week after you open, which has happened with many projects, you have no control over that. Nope. You know, if you started auditioning in June and all the summer stuff is cast and the next set of Broadway auditions is until the fall, you know, what are you gonna do? That's our reality. And you don't want to live in the negative, but you have to be realistic. Hello. Right, so you have yeah. to love the thing you're in and yeah. hope a lot. <laughs> yeah, love and hope. I think the hardest thing for me has been um, like my body. If you do a show for years, like I know my body's not happy with me and I'm only 27. <laughs> It's great when it's the first show of the week and then you hit that five show week and you're like your seventh show in and you're like, I don't know if I'm gonna make it to Sunday. And people see it and they go, you guys look like you're having so much fun out there. <laughs> and in my head, I often say, that's the job. I had a director tell me in understudy rehearsal, uh, you would never actually play this part, but since we're here. That was his <laughs> opening line. There's different approaches and ways to get best work out of people without having to go that route. There's a way that you go about say it. Say what you mean, but don't say it mean. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> I find that people who make a great work environment tend to be, and not all the time, but people who were in our position. People right. who have advanced themselves into a different situation, but a part of them remembers what it was like. And it just creates, like, when you want to go to work and you feel that, like, you are a piece of this puzzle of the show, that you know that you're there for a reason, as opposed to doubting what you do every single day. There's also, you know, producers and directors who see you as uh, a number, and then there are people who see you as an artist. And it's a difference between the community and, you know, work. I think the advice I would give would be to have a life. <laughs> you know, to really like explore everything you think you might like. Because if you don't, if you don't have like a full life, there's nothing to put under the work. Exactly what I was gonna say. I was so focused on theater and learning theater and knowing everything about it that then I came to New York and I was like, a brilliant theater automaton robot who could do styles, but I had no soul underneath it. But until I just chilled out and remembered to bother to have a life in addition to the career I wanted, then everything got so much better and I started loving it again. Right. You also have to maintain the joy of it, which is not always joyful. You might be going through something. You still have to show up and like... Put your best face forward. Yeah. I would say don't give up. If you really want it, don't let anybody tell you that you can't do it.